Well, we are back in the studio. We're going to look at trends that we had this week, popular trends that were really raining down, had people talking. And we do have one of the kings of Twitter, a man who loves Twitter, a man who enjoys Twitter, a man who actually takes time to, you know, just break a sweat by watching and listening to some of the interesting things going on Twitter. We have the king of Twitter himself, Hafiz Gunu, in the studio with us. And then we have Mami Abba. I don't know why she has a problem with Hafiz. Hafiz, welcome back. Thank you. Did you pray for us? No, he didn't. Yes, I did, did you go with him? Does Hafiz look like somebody who would pray for anybody aside himself? Isn't that bad? What, what did you do to her? I don't know. I don't know. It beats me because I know I'm a nice person. So <gasps> <coughs> you and nice in the same sentence. What's happening? Both of you and nice don't fit in the same sentence. Yeah. I mean, both of you and nice don't fit in the same sentence. I'm a nice person. At least I like to think so. I am foreseeing a thunderstorm this night. <laughs> you nice, please. No. Well, you and nice don't fit in the same st- sentence. You and nice don't fit in the same sentence either. Oh, no, you're lying. No, it's true. I, I mean, am the nicest no. person you could ever come across. Really? I mean, it's really? like... Maud is on a smear campaign. Yeah. And I promise you, whatever you throw at me is not going to stick. Hmm? It won't happen. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. I'm a nice person. <laughs> You, you well, you. you wish. Okay, yes, I believe that is what he tells himself at night before to he's able to actually get yeah, some rest. rest so, yeah. Yeah. Especially when he thinks you the mean things he has said to people throughout yeah, the yes, day. That's especially true. Especially to me. He, yeah, he has to just think and be like, I'm actually a nice person. I was just saying, just, yes, I'm a they nice person so he can sleep. Yes. yes I else. think that's what happens. Right, right, right. Harvest, have you had lunch? No, no, I'm good. Okay. <gasps> I'm not, saying, I'm not saying anything to that one. That is food. I'm not saying anything. Okay, guys, today is Friday, so you know how we're going to do. It's just we're going to discuss all the popular trends that we had during the week. And yes, among some of them, we had hashtag Facebook down. And I'm just going to give a quick backstory to all of them. Then we all come in quickly and talk about them. So um, Facebook down basically has to do with when Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp literally went down. How many hours was it? I think it was six. from six hours, yes. And then the man lost six billion. Wow. Well, it's it's gone to seven billion now. Oh well, he's he lost quite some amount of money, and it's not, I mean, a joke. But then they were down for six hours. People couldn't access it. Any of those um, apps on their phone, wherever you are accessing, you couldn't have them. Now the next thing we also have is hashtag Safwa. Safwa is actually uh, she won. The Ghana's most beautiful year in our base Ghana. So she was the GMB queen and she was trending for that day. We also had hashtag World Teachers Day. And yes, we discussed that on the show. So that basically was a day. It was trending because it was World Teachers Day and we're appreciating the teachers in all over the world across the globe. We also had hashtag white money. White money happens to be the winner of the BB Niger um, season six. So he is the winner and he was also trending on that day. Now there's a backstory to the trends we'll be looking at, but we're bringing and chipping a couple of others as well as we go on with the show. Half is going to. So, have you ever watched Ghana's Most Beautiful? No. Uh, to be honest. I Ever since it started? No. No. Mm-hmm. Every now and then I catch it like, you know, you come and people are interested. Watching. To ask okay. one or two things. But to actually sit and. F- watch the full show. No. Um, yeah. Okay. What of BB Niger? Baby Niger, yeah. You've but watched not this season, but I think last season, yes. You dedicated some hours to watch it? Yeah, yeah. Why is she surprised? I watched it last season. I don't know why she's surprised, though, but yeah, last season was quite interesting anyway. This season, I think, uh, it was a complete ball fest. Because even for last season, there was a point I wasn't stuck to my TV watching it constantly, but... I mean, when you when you go onto Twitter, the sort of con- conversations they have, uh, you know, it the video excerpts and everything. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, constantly you you wanted to be you know to 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 be updated and know what exactly was going on because it was that interesting. But this year's was like, yeah. Well, you're not the only person that thinks so. <laughs> so I'm not going to say. But yeah, but have you watched Ghana's Most Beautiful? Have you literally like followed? Yeah, I think I w- I watch when it started. Uh, I this very one? F- no, 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 okay. no. The first the two seasons. Okay. Yeah, I think I watch I watched the complete season for the first two ones, and then I just lost interest afterwards. 
Wow. Okay, what of BB Niger? Never watched. Never will watch. I've never watched them. Right. Um. Not no no comment there yet. <laughs> Let, well, let's just start with Facebook down. I think this we spoke about it during uh the week. So half is okay for you because uh, how were you affected? To be honest, really? I wasn't. I wasn't affected. <laughs> really? Yeah, I wasn't affected. Uh, because yes, like I keep saying, I have basically three, you know, apps that I use the most: WhatsApp, Twitter, and Facebook. Yeah, but WhatsApp was. Yes affected yes so i didn't even know it was affected until i got onto twitter and i realized that there was uh, you know something trending so i simply checked the trends so i wasn't surprised because uh, i mean it's not like i'm constantly staring at my phone and w- waiting on messages anyway yes and no but what is it you weren't surprised i like mm. were you anticipating oh no 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 it's like you know some people were sent out messages and then we're expecting a response yeah or just basically you turn on your data and hoping to Nothing. see messages load load exactly but normally my you know first point of call when i go onto my phone is twitter so and every now and again i check the trends so immediately i went onto twitter and saw the trends then i was like okay that's what's going on so it wasn't like i went onto whatsapp and then and was surprised like, okay. uh, yeah, yeah things were not loading but at the end of the day i mean it boils down to, you know, what you use these social media apps for. That would uh, definitely d- uh, depend on whether or not you'll be greatly affected. Because we know, yes, some people do business on these platforms mm-hmm. and they were affected. Uh, these days we have what we call influencers. I don't know what exactly they are influencing anyway, but... The people. The influencing <laughs> the people with their choice of products and things. <laughs> Ridiculous, anyway. But the... <laughs> These things, I mean, so these were people that were affected, obviously. For So what it means is that a shutdown means you have no job or you have no you're career. Literally out, you're literally exactly. out of business. So, yes. So you are irrelevant, basically. <laughs> so, <I mean. laughs> that's what it means. But so you, it just means you need to have a life. But it tells, again, how our lives have come to revolve around these apps mm-hmm. where, well, I mean, we practically live on these things for information uh some basically both careers on this uh yes and others well for business purposes they they go onto these uh, platforms to to reach individuals yes i also remember mentioning that uh, look uh this whole idea of facebook you know controlling everything out there or every app out there has got to be checked mm-hmm. yes because what it means is that a, 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 you know, a fault on their platform means all, all these, the others, all these other platforms will not go blank. Yeah. Yes, because I mean, they were forced to, you know, you know, to interact via the platform of a rival. That's Twitter, mm-hmm. just so they could tell people what exactly was going on. Because for those that were on Facebook, they didn't understand what was going on. So some resorted to Twitter and everything. So that tells you that yes, diversification is important. Okay, be it uh, commerce, be it uh, you know, cyberspace and everything. It's very much important where things are spread across board, okay, and not have it in the hands of one person. I mean, at the moment, I mean, you can tell how powerful Zuckerberg is. Just do, 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 do we need to be told? Exactly. So, so I mean, for the future of, you know, the internet and everything, it's, it's something that has to be really checked. Uh, uh, I think this will, a similar conversation came up when Trump was, you know, basically kicked off Twitter. And yeah. Since then, it's been quiet. <laughs> so ju- just look at that much power in the hands of one one anyway, and just in the consortium anyway. So it, it's something that greatly has to be looked at. But yes, it's a reality check. Mm-hmm. We need to 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 you know live live and not just you know live via our phones and everything. Raise your head and live. Okay, live, live life. Stop existing everything. through the phones. <laughs> okay, Maud, were you affected in any way? No, I wasn't. What app were you using during the hours it started? I was, you know, where I work when it started. Mm-hmm. And I think I noticed because uh, I sent a couple of messages and then it didn't go through. Mm-hmm. So then uh, I think then Yasmin came in and she said something and then somebody said WhatsApp was down. I was like, oh, so that's why my messages didn't go through then. I just left it. I just let it be because, I mean, usually when I go on WhatsApp, it is to either post a status app Mm 
mm-hmm. or to reply to messages. Okay. Or maybe there's this, there's, there are some people I haven't heard from in a while. I'll just, sometimes I just go through my contacts and then, and like my chats on WhatsApp. And then I see, oh, I haven't heard from this person in a while. I just send a message, hey, how have you been? It's been a while. So I wasn't really, it didn't really affect me like that. Okay, but did you have any friends that were like frantic? They were losing it, like, because it's, it's down. Mm, nobody called me or said anything, so I wouldn't know. Okay. Have us, do you have any friends that panicked because it was down? Okay. Right. So yeah, I'm mean, not my friend. What did I say? N- nothing. You have n- no. you have normal friends. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys understand why literally we like, go always on him, right? <laughs> you mm. there's no rest for the wicked. Yeah. So just like Hafiz said, um, people should really. I I think on the day we the day actually trended the day after, mm-hmm. we talked about how people should use that as um some sort of to so use that. Mm-hmm. as a um, foundation to do some sort of self-reflection. Yeah. How attached am I to my phone? My phone that's true. How attached am I to social media? Do I seek validation from social media? When WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook went down, how did it affect me? If it affected me to the point where I, w- I had anxiety, I was anxious, then you should realize there's a problem there. But it went down and I was like, some people were just normal because, I mean... It's just one of those things. Mm, and true. sometimes you do not need to be on these. There are so many other things you can do on your phone. Most of the time when I'm bored and I, I don't want to go on social media, what I do is go through the tips on my phone. Then I just I discover so many new things. I'm like, whoa, I was actually underutilizing this phone. So it's not always social. Social media is great. I mean, you go on there, you see people with certain lifestyles you see people achieving things you see relationship goals you see so many things you hear people's or you get to hear people's opinions on different different subjects you get to learn about new things you get to um hear the opinions of people and then which tends to change your opinion on certain things mm. so in as much as there's the good there's the bad as well so sometimes we should try to take some time away from our phones and like Hafez said um you're with people and everybody's staring on their phone. Some time ago, we talked about pet peeves. That is one of mine. It's like, why are we sitting in a group? We decided to go out and then you're just on your phone. Pokia does this and sometimes I just want to take care of this. But then again, you see. But thank God okay. you don't smash it. Because I don't have anyway. to replace <laughs> it. Half is going to. You right. see, the thing about Facebook and Twitter and the other apps. Now, personally, you know, with Facebook. Mm-hmm. A lot of the time, there are people you know in real life mm-hmm. that you are friends with. So, if I actually just want to communicate with you, I'll go on WhatsApp. I don't have to do it through Facebook. And there are no people you want to be interacting with personally. So, on Twitter, it's actually the other way around. Usually, you follow people you'd like to know. So, you just click follow. You follow them. I mean, you... It's more like for, you're for some curious reason. about their exactly. lifestyle, so everything. It could be something they tweeted. Okay. okay? Because usually, the way I follow people... I look out for certain things they tweet about. Then I go onto your timeline and see, okay, uh, this is a person I can understand or this is a person I share something with. It could be a Chelsea fan. It could be that they, they agree with me on, or they share their political views mm. and maybe we share the same political views. Chelsea. Something or they, they, they tweet about something very unrelated or they, their analysis on something. Mm-hmm. Then I follow them. So they don't know you, you don't know them. You just get to learn of them. That's just it. So... There's so much with Twitter you can learn, you can understand with people that you don't practically don't know. Or like people you know on Facebook, well, sometimes they can put out annoying oh, stuff and, <laughs> <laughs> and you can't really say much. Like, okay, I like yeah, it's like a person you know, puts a so picture up and it's like getting pregnant with 54 people and you're like... And, Facebook. and then they tag you sometimes. So that exactly. is the getting pregnant with 54 so people. It's like... So Facebook, even I go on there just to simply sometimes just put out stuff and go out there but not to go and then be engaging with people i already know really no but but facebook is not only you, so people you already know no, so yes but i'd rather follow people on twitter than on facebook i mean with facebook you know people do all this kind of you know how do i put it is it tacky or corny what is the key whether. thing that puts you off about facebook when it comes to facebook you open your <laughs> 
they put out captions like they are writing a book. Like, thank God for word limit on Twitter. <laughs> Wait, people cannot caption their photos the way they want to. Hey, do you? I'm just saying. Seen, I, like, I think he's talking about the super what lengthy off, ones. Like, yeah. Okay, fine. Maybe there's something about it. Just tell it briefly. And they want to put, I mean, from Genesis to Revelation, everything on there. Like, what's happening? So you know, sometimes there's a backstory to something. Uh huh. So they have to tell us the backstory. Tell you, I, I, I'm not interested in your life anyway. So, but you still see the thing. them. So where did yes. I saw Facebook? So that's the thing about Facebook. I mean, you are, <laughs> you are basically interacting with people you know in real life anyway, and <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh my god. So, <laughs> but with Twitter, it's just it's a whole new experience. Do you still so have the Facebook app on your phone? <laughs> Yes. Exactly. Shall we Why? uninstall it? Why? Can we please uninstall it for you? I mean, no, sometimes you just need oh, no, to like, know certain things. And oh, there are certain updated. people. Exactly. And most people maybe in your circle Circles, yeah. also, also have that. So even though you might not be very active on it, but you still need it for one or two reasons or keep it aside. But I don't know more. I don't know if you get maybe You know, some, some, somebody has Facebook. They have a lot of people following them. But sometimes they just go there and they keep, they're just checking out for probably three key people or looking for updates about three key people. And that's where the people are constantly on. Or so just go check out for But then because you go there, you are just greeted with a flood of someone telling you about a dream they had. Sometimes... I get, I get where he's coming from. Somebody it's tagged me. Facebook. Somebody tagged Once me. Once you open the, the app, they are like, "What's on your mind?" So they just write what's on their mind. People are allowed to free their okay, minds fine, on their then, Facebook but then profile. But that's, but that's why you ta- tailor your timeline according to the way you want it. So that, you see, the, the tagging part is my own. Somebody goes to buy beans or something or is in the queue or something, and then they take a picture, and then you, some some people tag you. And you, you want it's you all related. To know what they are up to. It's just like people streaming in a queue to buy chats. beans. It's like mod, I'm in a queue mod, right now. Mod. So you're buying beans. I should know. So, okay. so what happens? That is that is my current status. So and I want to share with my Facebook friends that you are buying beans in a queue. What is so wrong with updating people with the things you're doing in your life? Buying beans in a queue. Yes. My data. He's telling you that buying, getting to actually buy the beans is not easy. Lots of people want to buy the beans. So mod, I actually mod. took time out, opened the app you to guys. see online that you're standing in a queue buying beans. You 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 can either like it or just see and pass. You do not see the point mm-hmm. in a person putting a post like that up. But they feel like, yo, I need to update my people. You see, I think my, my I don't know if you get the tag thing I'm talking about, but my own my own has to do mainly with the tags. I don't mind what you post. But then when you tag me directly and what you have posted I'm trying to connect the dots and they are no you dots. You know connected. there's a way to remove yourself from the post, right? Yeah. So just do just that. Do, okay. I think I'll, I'll just activate that because it's okay. sometimes sometimes it's just stressful. You go and there's plenty read this thing. You open and people have... Some is just like... So just oh untag yourself. I mean, people are allowed to use their social media the way they want. Mm, just as she is allowed to use it. Use it the way she wants it. You have an issue with it. Hey, I, hey, hey, wait, wait. I didn't wait, say I had an wait. issue with it. <laughs> so I am just listen, saying, listen, if listen. a person... No, I will not listen. I'm just <laughs> saying, <laughs> if a person tags you in something and you're not interested <laughs> in it, just untag yourself. It's as Look, simple as that. But you, see, you are also allowed to keep certain things to yourself, right? You do know that. You so are private. No, somebody is no. not. So it brings into question how people put out so so many things about themselves. About Look, the these days, you don't even have to ask people what do you do for this. Eh, eh. Just go online. Go on to Facebook and you see just about everything. Every single thing. You're allowed to keep certain things to yourself. And and it's the reason people don't even, you know, value privacy anymore. But so, there... Wait, wait. Okay. Yes. I will wait. So, there's a thing called digital footprint. Yes, where people know what what exactly you are doing, where and you've been, ev- exactly. practically everything. And that, o- that also yes. ties into so, cyber security. Exactly. So... It's so it's like people make it very easy to be stalked these days. I get that. So these these are little informations that you put out there, and you think it's nothing, but they come back to bite you because someone went onto your timeline. Okay, all they need is just your name. Okay, let me and run it through the system, follow. and he runs it through the system. Okay, okay. On Thursday she ate banku. On Tuesday she she, she went to this someone night club. Someone takes a picture with a cloth. I don't even get me. Going to take a bath. So so you see. It's okay to put certain things or c- certain aspects of your life, but it's not everything that goes on out there, okay? People shouldn't have that much access to you. 
or what goes on in your life. But the question is, what, so what, what serves as filters for people when they're posting on Facebook? That is why I'm saying people need to be cautious. But take the life of influencers like this. An influencer influences because that for is products. what they do. Okay. Not for products. Basically, it could be a hotel. It could be um, a, a resort. Yes, yeah, so it could be a restaurant. It could be, they have it could be to basically prove. everything. So, so if an influencer is things. advertising for somebody, and this is where they are, they have to show that I am here. Yes, yeah, so for, for that, I get it. That is their job that description. Business. That is what yeah. goes. That's business. They're getting money for it. But for so some that is also still um, digital footprints because you're telling people where you're no, at and business. what you're doing. Some, some is b you can see clearly is a business post. But yes, but it's for, still a post. For those ones where you know what exactly their bedroom look like, you know what ex like nobody really needs exactly that sort of information about you. Seriously, do you say exactly what their bedroom looks like? Yes. You know what what bedspread they use? Like that's how bad it is. I, nobody should know so that sort of information. I'm only saying. Like that, okay, but there's no such a thing as privacy. In the long in run, you are a private person. Somebody is in not. So, okay, so no. in, in the me, long run, people will do what they, they want to do. do. Okay, fine. Okay, relax. Um. Okay, I've, I'll come to you, Maud. When you're posting something on Facebook, give me top five things that you would not want to post on, that you find to be very private, that you wouldn't want to put out there on Facebook? I don't post much on Facebook. Just assume that Facebook is the place you post. When you're posting, what are the top five things you look out for and ensure before you post? Mm. Well. Or everything goes? No. Issues of money? Do you talk about money? Your financial status? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you talk about your love life? Mm, maybe a few hints here and there, if I want to. Okay. Who's the so unlucky guy? You know, <laughs> okay, <get it>. So, <laughs> I think we're asking guy. general terms. No, we're we're asking at like the current state of No, 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 no. Right I'm only now. saying, like, these are areas of your life you definitely will not put so out. So, top there. five. Top five. Yes. Yeah. So, so, you're taking two, two yes. out. Your, your, the status of, uh, your health status. No, I won't put exactly. my Exactly. So, at the end Unless of the day... Unless maybe it's a cold. Exactly. So it's nothing serious. At the end of the okay. day, you still have certain things you won't put out there. Yeah, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. But I you see, won't you have put that. it out but there. But the problem but is... somebody will. So, does it... Does it what is the problem? Let's admit it. Let's just say that it is. Call oh it speed yes, speed and not a big spoon. I'm saying it's, it's, uh -huh. it's a problem and it's not safe, but people will still do it. Have you ever gone on your timeline on Facebook and seen a post that immediately you saw just put you off like that? Oh, yeah. I see. I'm like, <sighs> then I just scroll past. If I was tagged in it, I just don't tag myself because me getting angry behind my phone Doesn't will not make it. the person delete the post they put up. So that is so. There's seeing things and not allowing them to get to you because in the long run, people will still do what they want to do. Okay. Yeah, so just mute it. So then you are seated behind your phone and you are angry at somebody who has done what they want to do, and the person doesn't even know you are angry, and the person doesn't even care. And they'll post you in the second. They'll tag you in the second. Yes. Post. <laughs> so it's like if you don't like it, just don't tag yourself. That's and then true. if if like if you can unfriend the person, unfriend the person because I don't like the things you put up. You know, unfriending people also unfriended? brings about problems. Exactly. Because some of you unfriended so a person later is one I unfriend you and you want me to explain why I unfriended you. Yeah. Why did you unfriend me? Unless it's somebody I know in real life. That's what I'm saying. Why unfriend did you unfriend? You yes. Know, why yeah. did you unfriend a person? Hey, my own unfriending. Ah. When you accepted a friend request, why have you unfriended? I accepted. And so why have you unfriended now? I've been seeing your posts. Uh -huh. They are not in line with the way I think. I can unfriend you. No, but these things happen. So to avoid some of these conversations, you can mute or block. Oh, okay. friend. So once you <laughs> unmute, uh, you you mute the person. Well, they can post everything, man. but you won't see it. Okay, Especially, wait. and even with the tag settings. Wait, let me so just... for me, when you tag me, I would have to actually come in and allow it on my timeline. Yes. If I don't, I won't even see it anyway. So. So you don't. So people can't tag you if you don't allow them. To. No, yeah. they can tag they you, can but tag, it won't appear on your timeline want, until you approve it. Yeah. Okay. So but when other people see it, they will see that you have been tagged in it. No, they don't see my name. Yes. So on on my timeline, I actually allow certain things. That's just it. Okay. Yeah. So. Right. Not, Let me see. Yeah. What would you never post on Facebook? I just mentioned some of the things. Relationship, money, mm -hmm. health. Relationship because he doesn't have one. And I don't wow. see one in his future. <laughs> wow. Did you... Oh, whoa. You you don't see one in his future. 
No, she's she she'll be coming to my wedding very soon. <laughs> fact, she'll be the flower girl at, at my wedding. She's too old for a flower girl. No, no, <laughs> yes. She would have to go to I I I will wait patiently. Mm. <laughs> okay, fine. We're looking at World Teachers Day. We're moving on to World Teachers Day. Uh quick, I think I asked just during the so which one of you loved economics in school? Which one of you did economics in I school? I did studied economics. Did you like it? I was, I was indifferent. I would say I like it. You were like you it. Was it a class I wasn't you eager to that's go what back I mean. to a class you were eager to enter the no, lecture no, hall for? No, that I can say no. Mosh? Yeah, I did economics in school. In the beginning, I liked it. What happened? Because then we were doing psychological mm. needs and things. And then the Maslow's theory of demand needs. Demand and supply. Demand and supply. <laughs> then, then it got <laughs> tough and I was like, no. <laughs> I am not cut out for this one. The demand was exceeding. <laughs> <laughs> it was exceeding the supply. But I remember I used to love economics when we started studying. But, but why are you asking economics too specifically? It just sticks in my mind. World Teachers Day. No, I'm asking. But why yes. economics? Economics was something that you had. Some student when you start, everybody loves it. The terms and the people liked it. Opportunity cost and all of that. But then at a point in time, it's like everybody hits a gray area. <laughs> their, their class just starts turning into something no, else. Economics, economics was a bit fun because of the teacher. Yes. Your teacher. Yes. Uh, we called him name? a certain nickname. I don't even know his own. My mine was Shakiro. We call him Shakiro. We call him Sokins. So, <laughs> like Gary Sokins. Oh, yeah. You brought me. No, he had this thing where he comes, like, he practically insult all of you and then leave. So, it was just something we did with him. So, uh, each time he comes around, it's, I mean, before he leaves, he'll crack you guys up. So, I think one time we're doing something on population, mm-hmm. and there was something he said till this, this day, stuck. He said, some of us, when we leave home, our parents are actually happy because when we are there, in the room is overpopulated, so <laughs> why you go to the <laughs> so How can you say this? The room is overpopulated. So, <laughs> so when you don't come, they don't ask because that day the, the night is free. So oh, that's so it. That was what he said to us, his students. So <laughs> yes, so he was he was used like thirty or forty minutes to insult us and then before he leaves. So he was an interesting one. So you wouldn't miss economics or anything just for even just for the so. fun part of it. You yeah, wouldn't so miss. Okay, yeah. I see. I see. Interesting. Now, did you have um, any teacher that you were always eager to see? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Business management. People actually think I studied general arts. I studied business. So, mm-hmm. uh, business management. Mr. Dukuru, I think he's now the headmaster for Northern School of Business. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. He was you, always, you always eager to see him. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was something about the way he explained things to you. Like... Einstein one put it simply that if you can't explain it to a six year old, you don't know it. Yeah, that's true. So and basically, when he explained things to you, he I mean, you can tell even a kid would understand what exactly. He would break it down for you to understand, and he took the time in the world. And there was this thing he didn't believe in hitting students and everything, unlike his colleagues and everything. When you say hitting, as in using canes. Yes, exactly. Uh, yes. So he. But so it was just something about his approach and the way he handled students. He was extremely patient. I mean, there were a number of things we would do that would piss him off, but he was just very calm. So eventually, I mean, everyone just liked him. Wow. Mm, I can say I wasn't the only one. Like, just students just loved the way he did things. Yes. I see. Uh, unlike you know some other people. In Mod. The yeah. Is there any teacher you just loved to look forward to seeing? Say, um, Mr. Dong, my government teacher. You look forward to okay, he made class interesting. Yeah, he was sitting in front of the class and he was really tall, right? So, my government teacher was really tall, okay. And you know how the desk used to be in, in SHS, yeah. like one, uh, yeah, no. so there used to be one, the, then we pull one out for the teacher. Then he was really tall, so he comes and then he takes one and then he sits and he spreads his legs and he had this shoe that he used to wear. <laughs> it was pointed and it was funny and he used to crack these little little jokes. But one thing I liked about him was he en- really encouraged students. It's okay. like if we write a test, mm-hmm. like he actually took time out to know the strength of every, every student, student in the okay. class. So if, let's say, an exam or a test is written 
and you you attain a mark and then he knows you could have done better he actually lashes you <laughs> okay so he will lash you because he knows if you had studied and you could have done better. better okay okay well so that was one that thing i sense. liked about him and i think i liked uh my um one of my geography teachers as well. You know geography, we had human geography and uh, what's the other one? I forgot the other one. Yeah, there's then another one. Mm-hmm. So my human Lega, geography yes. teacher was... You have forgotten. <laughs> he was really funny. <laughs> I was going to watch. They say I have forgotten like that. <laughs> no. I was, I was in SHS about why? 12, 13 years ago. <laughs> why? Geography students. Go on. Please, allow us. Continue. So he was also really funny. He had this thing where if a student had known him, then he would just tell you, you were getting on my nerves. It was like the way he used to say it was so funny, but yeah. But these are my SHS teachers. I think JHS. Uh, uh, I had Mr. Caesar, Caesar maths teacher. Yeah. I never had a maths teacher that I liked. Okay, I liked him because he was funny, and he would insult people. <laughs> and he was so <laughs> he was an old man, and he would just compare anything that you do. He would just compare us to his daughter. He w- I'm forgetting her name, but if you do something, he doesn't like it. He will tell you, my daughter will never do that. <laughs> and then worse. and then he'll tell you, the devil is your mother and your father. <laughs> 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 okay, so before we move on, I believe you uh, you all had teachers in any of your schools. Like, you know, there's that teacher who always causes trouble. Not causes trouble, but coming to lash. It's a question. Insults. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally made you feel like a piece of nothing. Yeah, uh, th- there were a few teachers, but interesting that I, I was, I never really had any trouble with such No, it's not on, you, not, like not you in particular, yes, uh, but then there was a particular teacher that you know in the oh whole yeah, school was yeah, always yeah, causing yeah. trouble for people yeah, like that. Yes, we, it was our French teacher. Mm-hmm. Yes, he... Why French teachers? Italy. He wouldn't use any cane, he's going to use his hand. And... Blows <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, he would say, let's fight, young man. <laughs> you will get it. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy is actually <laughs> fighting. <laughs> He'll tell you that he's not going to use the cane. You think, hey, he's going to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy is actually breaking on. And and the, you see, the thing is, when he's using his hands and they are egging him on, you are in trouble. Then they start screaming. They swear that he will. They swear that he will start start pounding you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but he was an interesting man anyway. Uh, yes, and there was this was uh, this this man to Mr. Joshua. Mr. Mm-hmm. Joshua, yeah, this guy do, when he used to beat you is like in a military camp. With I the remember with the cane. Yeah, when we were, I think my first day on the school football team, mm-hmm. we went running. Charlie, the guy wanted to kill us <laughs> so <laughs> because you were running. <laughs> Charlie, I always said I was coming. <laughs> We came back, and then they were hoping to touch the ball. He said we were not going. I, some someone did something on the pitch, like or in the football game. He didn't like, so the next day he he decided to drill us further. So we went running, came back, and we thought we were going. Oh, Charlie, the fitness. T- t- you overdo. I think I think on that day I slept throughout the class. He <laughs> <laughs> overdrew. He just took you guys yeah. to all. But I think it's cool. I mean, having teachers like that. I had a teacher who would once soak the cane in water. He let them soak it in water and put it at a place where you can all see. And he told that on Friday, he's coming out to lash. And those are the cane but, but, in water. But generally, I mean, teachers uh, teachers are the people who we spend time with aside our parents a lot of the yeah, time. Yeah, most so, of them. So we can understand why, you know, I mean, we share a certain bond with them, uh, you know. And some uh, grow and still go back to visit yeah, them, yeah. take care and, of and them. And and funny enough, you see, the thing about teachers is that I mean, depending on how much of an influence they had on your life, mm-hmm. at any point in time when you meet them, you are still that little kid. To them, yeah. You, that little kid and you just Comes jumps out. out. Yes, yes, that's true. I mean, that's if true. you are timid around them, you meet them. You can be forty year old. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, you meet them, you're still be, like that. You see, still so be. So it, it, it's just something about I, and I mean that is you know priceless anyway. You can't buy that. It's just. It just means that, yes, I taught you at some point. So can you imagine, I mean, your very own president meeting his teacher? Probably. <laughs> so how <laughs> how does it work? Nah, nah, nah. nah <laughs> nah, nah, do you nah, salute him nah. or he? No, no, you won't do it. Eh? You so won't do it. You can't anything. go and be like Cece. Mr. President won't be like Cece. <laughs> just you see? can't imagine the president doing Cece. Oh, come on. He had teachers, so. Yeah, but, okay, well, are you sure they won't be the one saying, no. I, well, okay. You think mm-hmm. it, would de- it would depend on the, the state. Yeah. Do you ever hope to go back to teaching? Me? Yeah. No. 
Oh, I'm just being frank here. I don't know why. Yeah, I you're was actually expecting a yes. You are expecting a yes? No, I wasn't. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't disappoint you. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's your fondest memory from teaching? That's the last thing we're out of the discussion, so. Fondest? Yeah. From teaching? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I have one. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get any sensible memories from teaching. No, I, I just wanted to leave the classroom, basically. So I can't <laughs> do my thing anymore. <laughs> no, look, let's understand something. Not everyone is cut out to be a teacher. Okay, that's why I said <laughs> I don't know what, what's wrong with you people. It's a difficult job, you know. <laughs> you? Kids, kids are trouble. What Seriously. age? What age are you Secondary school. Ah, and, and the other ones you're saying kids are trouble? They are trouble. So what if yes. you are putting uh, primary or kindergarten? Oh my goodness. So that's why I mean they are doing well. They are doing well <laughs> because <laughs> kids are a handful. Honestly, they are. They are. So I can't that's why you you, you must really you know th- there are certain professions you must really love it to actually to be good at it. <laughs> yes. So you see teaching or being a health professional. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you are just all about the paycheck, people know like yeah yes you don't care. There's no sentimentality attached to it. Okay. You can see it even with the way they handle patients, patients at the hospital. Yeah. They come yeah. in and okay, sign this. Or they are, they are so harsh. Even the way they talk to you, it's condescending. Yes. Mm. Mm. So you can see it. So mm. if you are not emotionally attached, so and, and that's why we have these kind of health professionals these days, mm. where they just do Surely anything, just about anything. Some are playing it. loud music on their phones and they don't care when you have patients around. So it's the same with teachers. I mean, there, there are teachers you knew that, oh, today we have mass. Oh, this guy won't come. And then you dump the book. <laughs> and you like clockwork. You go, ho- you go to class, and at that period, the guy will send information. That's even even he cares. Tells you that oh, today I won't be able to make it. You know, it's a free period because you won't come. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, uh, you see, everyone knows. You see, so there are teachers like that. Thank you. Yes. And we're we're glad you're being frank. We, well, so we look forward to other futures. Definitely not in the teaching field. I'm sure the children you thought were impacted. Oh no, some way. still call me, so I think I, I like to think I did a good job anyway. With a few ones. With a few good ones. When you're right. in a hurry to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys. It's been a wonderful discussion zone. Well mod stop, please. We're going to oh, take I understand him because <laughs> I thought for a year as well, so I know how <laughs> teaching can be. Were you a good teacher? I I I I I, See, I, 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 I uh, must uh, say I uh, could uh, say uh, I was. I I I. You mm. could say. What did you teach? English language. How was what did you teach? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you How was you forgotten what you thought? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Wow. Can we go on? No, you actually have forgotten the subject. So I, I mean, I can question. understand mm. where the frustration is coming from. It's coming from, especially if you were pushed to do it, and it's not something you, you wanted to do. To do. Okay, sure. But <laughs> what I liked was uh, invigilation. I loved it. Lived Where for it. can lord over people, eh? I'm glad I was a you teacher. That I could still lord over people in the classroom. Because then I'm telling you, if I don't see your assignment by the next morning, oh. I'm failing you. But that's, I mean, some of them would still not do it. But you see, exam, yeah. That is yeah, but I like the modulation because so. then you get to see which ones actually paid attention in class, especially when they're writing was, paper. Was it's that like the joy? It was being able to move through the lines? Well, it was seeing people actually answering your questions. <laughs> and complaining. <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah, becoming those ones you didn't like. <laughs> you know the teachers, you know, you knew. And, and, and we had this math teacher, uh, Mr. Ras, they called him. Mm-hmm. He'll come and teach you math and you enjoy it. You're like, oh, this is simple. Oh, I can and do when this. the exams come. Then he puts, okay, try this. And you are all struggling. Like, ah, but this thing, two plus three, four, and he's done. That's, ah. But what's happening? So why couldn't we do it? That was the way he, he, he taught math. And when he comes, he's not even talking to you. He's speaking to the board. So you could <laughs> hardly hear. <laughs> 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 I think it was, so. I think I mentioned this was this funny video where the man put an equation on the board, and now he they were supposed to find x, and he was now looking for x in the equation himself before he <laughs> asked because he couldn't find the x. And the students came trying to help him say, "Where did you really put the x?" Trying. It's we not spent a whole year, sp- you know, uh, you know, discussing maze. Yes, we called him Ziamis. That's how called him. Our great Ziamis. Yes, that's what we call him. You spent a whole year discussing this maze. Yes. Anytime he comes, okay, did let's you, talk about maze. Did you, the draw, did you draw? The next day did he you comes, maze. Draw? So we stopped going 
I, when it's time for his class, you <laughs> see people jumping out the window because you know it's me <laughs> that we talk about. Okay, I'm sorry. Time is far gone. Thank you so much for all the amazing tests out there. It's been a wonderful discussion. So. We're-